All right, hello everyone. So I am here to talk about celebrity astrology. And we're going to talk a little bit about Nicki Minaj. And then I'm going to give you some information and about an opportunity for you to learn astrology. And it's going to be great. So, Nicki Minaj. Now, in my private astrology group, I have said before that this was the worst year for her to like release an album. Because of the fact that Jupiter, if I were to go, if I use just her sun sign of her being Sagittarius, Jupiter is in the sign just before her, meaning that Jupiter is in a shadowy area. The 12th house is hidden things, and it's also the house of healing. So usually when Jupiter transits someone's 12th house, they have like an emotional shift. They'll become, um, they'll go to rehab. Sometimes they'll go to jail. Sometimes they'll get really sick. I know myself, I got really sick when Jupiter transited my 12th this last time. And, um, yeah, it's the house of loss. I mean, it can be really tough, but it's also the house of awakening. You usually have some awakening, and then when Jupiter goes into your first house, your ascendant, you're doing better, you're feeling better, and you start to rebuild. And it starts off a new cycle for you, right? And so knowing all of that information, like, you can do so much with your natal chart. So, like, with people, I have actually, so I'm just going to tell you guys, I have stopped doing astrology readings. If you look on my website, you can see they're not available anymore. And that's because, really, you need to learn astrology for yourself. You need to learn it for your kids. You need to learn it for business, you know, timing. You need to learn it for, um dates to get married and stuff like that like you need to know this kind of stuff and or times to avoid getting married or avoid making certain decisions all that kind of stuff like you need to know it and so really what I have learned I've been doing a lot of self soul seeking and self searching and a lot of different things you guys and you guys know I've, I've retired from one of my jobs one of my grinds and I have several because I have several gifts um but it's just that I want you, what I've learned is that I do better teaching. Teaching is my gift. Teaching is my skill. That's my thing. And so I'm going to be teaching. Um, I'm going to have classes. Now, once these classes are recorded, I am not going back and I'm not teaching them again. Um, I have a book to finish. I have some other amazing dope shit, like some really bomb, bomb, bomb stuff that I have to drop and I have to do just because I'm so creative. I have all these different things and I can't get stuck on doing readings for people, honestly, like I have to be real. I can't do that um, because, not because I don't like doing them. Like when certain people ask me, I always tell them yes. And sometimes they wait like a week or two sometimes, y'all, because I'm growing like a major brand. Like I have so much amazing stuff going on and... As the planets clear up, I can tell you more about that. Um, but I just really don't have the time to do individualized readings. However, I can teach classes of people very easily. So that's what I'm doing. I'm teaching. So one of the classes that I will be teaching is, is going to be astrology. For those who are like, I don't know what it means when you say Jupiter goes into Aquarius. And I don't know what house that's in. I don't know how to find that. Or even if I know what house it's in, I don't know what that means. I have the class for you. So when you read your horoscope, you will know what it means and all that stuff. I will break everything down for you. For you. Class. Yes. Cool thing about the class is that we're going to use celebrity astrology to learn. Because we know all of these people's businesses business i'm not going to put your personal business out in the class we know aretha franklin's business we know lauren hill's business and i'm just throwing people out those i'm not necessarily saying we'll use those exact celebrities but that's what this class is for to teach you right and so i am offering this class at a very discounted rate um the class is going to be august 30th um we're going to do it late at night 
so probably like 9 central, 10 central, something like that. We're going to do it whatever is best for the group. Um, but I'm accepting students now. Um, eventually this class, again, will be recorded. The only other option was astrology for me. If you do want to learn astrology privately with me, I do have a option for that. And I will also put the links for that below. Um, but yes, I want you guys to learn. And I'm telling you guys, like with, with Nikki, this 12th house stuff, it's like this was the worst time ever for, for her how her planet of the planet of luck to be in that house. The time to kind of lay low. This would have been, this would have been a great time for her to be recording an album, going to therapy, um, going to rehab, anything like that, but she chose this time to do this perfect another perfect example would be cardi b when jupiter was in her sign the planet of luck was in her sign she blew up she became who who she is now um another example would be saturn right now is and this is just very surface level example like we're going to look way deeper in the class but a perfect example would be uh r kelly um, now that Saturn is in his sign, which is the planet of restriction and discipline and order, is in his sign, and it's and it's actually the ruling planet of his sign, so it's like really getting um, with him. We're getting we're seeing more and more accusations. We even saw that song that he sang that was like an hour long about how he's trying to take the read and all these different other things and, and different traumatic things that have happened to him. So we've kind of exposed parts of himself. And, of course, it's making people side eyeing him, but there's also been different um, legal things going on, too, that seem like he could possibly get caught up on some of the allegations that people have made toward him. Um, but there are so many astrolog astrological examples, but I will break all of this down for you and teach you how to look through your own transits, how to, for the most part, read your chart. I will teach you this, um, like I said, and if you want to then go into private study with me, I will give you, that will be a deposit towards your class, towards your private class. And the private class is only four weeks. Um, really, it can be condensed to three, especially if you take the celebrity astrology class. So I'm excited. Um, make sure you come with the name of your favorite celebrity that you want us to look at. Please make it be somebody that we can like look up their chart. Um, like some people pick people that like no one knows, like, like their chart isn't available. Their chart has to be available online. So please make sure that their chart is available online so that I can pull it and then we can interpret it together. Right? So I'm excited. Celebrity astrology. Oh gosh. And this is another reason you guys, why Sierra is popping right now. We can talk about the Sierra effect too. We should definitely talk about Sierra. I like Sierra. Um, we're going to talk about the Sierra effect, how she just glowed the hell up. She just really glowed up. Perfect example of she has, she literally is having her Cardi B year. It's, she's having the exact same transit. It's not a coincidence, you guys. That's why I teach it. So I'll see you guys in class. I'm looking forward to it. Please sign up. And, um, again, the recording will be available at the link if you sign up past August 30th. Okay. All right. Thank you.